experience the grandeur of the wilderness, the magnificence of North American nature, stunning images of wildfire, next on Profiles of Nature. Their prehistoric appearance is alarming to anyone who catches sight of this awesome animal. Across the frozen tundra of Canada's northern Arctic islands dwell these shaggy-haired, mammoth-sized beasts. Their fight for supremacy at times becomes a fierce confrontation. The world of these magnificent mammals is a sight to see. The musk ox, next. Today, the musk ox can be found in remote areas of Greenland and here in the high Arctic islands and mainland of Canada. Food is scarce on the northern tundra. This musk ox herd has discovered vegetation at the foot of a retreating glacier, where it is often bitterly cold and winter stretches into May. To outfit the musk ox for survival in this harsh, barren terrain, nature has provided it with a marvelous coat, actually two coats, a soft gray woolen coat next to the skin and a dark protective top coat of long, coarse hair. Warm and comfortable, almost sleek looking, except during the molting period. For a few weeks each year, around the beginning of summer, strands or patches of the fine gray wool loosen and work their way through the dark top coat, often dangling in long tatters, giving the beasts a shaggy, unkempt appearance until they blow away in the wind. These cashmere-like fibers are much sought after by Arctic birds who use them to line their nests. By mid-July, it's a little warmer, and the days are longer. The rutting season gets underway. A dominant bull wastes no time in approaching the cows in his herd to determine if any are ready to mate. What follows is a lot of chasing around as the cows rebuff those premature advances. Persistent, and the courtship continues on this lonely breeding site at the top of the world. We will return to Profiles of Nature on the Discovery Channel. It's an all-new season coming this fall, only on the Discovery Channel. I want my kids to grow up in a healthy environment. I want them to breathe clean air. I'm for it doesn't burn anything. It produces no air pollution, no greenhouse gases. In fact, it's one of the cleanest sources of electricity we have. When I was in college, I was against nuclear energy, but I've reached a different conclusion. It means cleaner air for this planet. I'm talking about a new heart. New life. It was simple. You can't believe what it does for your system. Your eyes see things a whole new way. You run faster, you get more done, and you have more fun. It's not some wild promise. I've experienced it. If a computer's at the heart of what you do, the OS2 operating system should be at the heart of your computer. I'm living proof that it works. Every sports sedan is supposed to do well in the fast lane. But what about these lanes? At Lexus, we've achieved extremely tight tolerances between all major body panels. So not only does the ES300 look like it's put together well, 
it actually is. Put together well. Wednesday nights on the Discovery Channel, some of nature's most beautiful creatures and some of man's greatest accomplishments. First at eight, there's sure to be plenty of monkeying around as we travel from tree to tree in search of the jungle's swingingest inhabitants. On from monkeys to apes. Then at 8.30, revel in nature's timeless beauty and share the intimate secrets of the animal kingdom on wild side. Then, take to the sky in some of the world's finest fighting machines. Climb aboard these aviational wonders for a round-trip flight of excitement and discovery on wings at 9 Eastern. And at 10, test the limits of strength and endurance and witness man's need to push himself to the edge and beyond on Challenge. Wednesday nights, beginning at 8 Eastern, only on the Discovery Channel. We now return to Profiles of Nature on the Discovery Channel. Although these big, burly musk oxen look wild, moody, and rather antisocial, they really have quiet dispositions most of the time. They are social animals who band together in loose herds, larger in winter, smaller in summer, under one dominant bull. As well as her behavior, a cow's scent will tell the bull when she is ready to mate. He follows her around and sniffs and grazes by her side, trying to woo her. Is she glancing back playfully to see if he's following? or to tell him to quit bothering her. She's obviously not in heat yet, but allows the bull to get close to her. With those sharp, lethal horns, muskox mating rituals are rather gentle affairs. However, if a cow is resting while ruminating, a bull may prod her in an attempt to get her to stand up so he can check her scent by lifting his head and curling his lip. busy herding his cows and courting them, Don Juan style, one cow after another. Even the female calves are not immune from his approach. summer, formidable challengers may suddenly appear. Strong, mature, solitary bulls who have been living alone or in small bachelor groups. Strangers, intruders, marching into the herd grazing site like some Scottish chieftain of old, with, as someone once wrote, 
their long black robes swinging like kilts around them, approaching with a stiff-legged strut against the wind sideways to make himself appear larger and fiercer, displaying his impressive horns with one objective in mind, to take control of the herd and of the cows, to mate with someone else's harem. He pauses to perform an ancient threat ritual, rubbing on the ground or with his foreleg a small pear-shaped gland below his eye, which produces a scented secretion that some say keeps hair out of his eyes, but is more likely a warning, a way of marking his advance. He may horn and paw the ground on which he stands, bellowing and roaring at his opponent. counter displays using the same ritualistic behavior and moves quickly to meet the intruder as the two rivals circle each other. Sometimes these intimidation displays are enough and one bull backs off without a fight. But when the bulls are evenly matched, as they appear to be in this classic confrontation, only a dramatic battle will determine dominance. Clashing, they push and shove and wrestle horn to horn, then back away from each other very slowly, swinging their huge heads from side to side. Powerful foreheads and necks are built to withstand the shock of repeated clashing, sometimes 20 or more times in one fight. Their curved horns are sturdy, but permanent, and once damaged, never grow back. it is the challenger who retreats, possibly to hang around and try again, more likely to disappear into the vast tundra. The dominant bull may pursue his vanquished opponent until he feels his herd is safe. But the object is not to kill one's challenger, but to drive him away, to maintain or to take control of the herd at the height of the rutting season.
return to Profiles of Nature on the Discovery Channel. Pure milk. Fresh milk. Smooth and white, creamy, cool. Fresh and smooth. Fresh milk. Sweet and dry. Fresh and dry. Experience a creamy blended yogurt as only Dannon can do it. Fat free, no artificial anything, just pure Dannon. Dannon blended yogurt. Since its introduction umpteen commercials ago, the Lexus LS400 has been hailed by car magazines, raved over by critics, and praised by owners in survey after survey. Which just goes to show that some of the most powerful advertising is the kind you don't have to pay for. Breakthrough to a clean you'll never get from soap. I clean. Soap leaves the sticky film behind, but death rinses clean away, cleaner than soap. You're not fully clean unless you're definitely clean. True Life Stories. Investigating the criminal life and those who seek to understand it. Then celebrating the heroes. People with bravery to spare. It's an all-new season this fall, only on the Discovery Channel. The BBC, Turner Broadcasting and Time Life Video dare you to take a walk on the wild side with Trials of Life. The gripping, award-winning nature video series that exposes the struggle to survive through uncensored, shocking photography. Join acclaimed naturalist David Attenborough for a close encounter with raw nature. See the thrill of the hunt and the strategy of the kill, the relentless drive to continue the bloodline and the miracle of birth. Call now and receive hunting and escaping for $9.99 and see why the law of the jungle is kill or be killed. If it captures your interest, you can get other videos about every other month. Each tape explores the harsh realities of survival in the animal world. Take a walk on the wild side with trials of life. Call now to order hunting and escaping and find out why we call them animals. To order your Trials of Life video, call 1-800-632-9191 or send $9.99 plus $3.23 shipping and handling to the address on your screen. We now return to Profiles of Nature on the Discovery Channel. A few weeks later, the musk ox bull is quite restless, more aroused, more persistent, as if he senses or smells a change among the cows in his herd. Courtship continues. He cautiously lifts a foreleg and taps the cow along the flanks or between the legs. she doesn't move away. Arctic hare, 
one of the few animals that shares this barren terrain with the muskox, keeps a wary eye on another neighbor, a potential predator, the Arctic fox, here seen in its dark or blue phase, searching for food that it has buried earlier. Scavenger, the Arctic fox often follows a muskox herd, waiting round to pick up fetal membranes or the remains of a dead member of the herd. A sudden snowstorm in early September catches this Arctic fox by surprise, but he just sits down and waits for it to pass. Winter comes early on the high Arctic tundra, about the same time people are beginning to enjoy autumn in New York. By October, the rutting season is over, and the musk oxen, who don't migrate but feed in the same general area year-round, come together in large herds to graze. On days when the winds are high and blowing snow makes feeding difficult, the musk oxen often lie down like the Arctic fox until the storm passes. Strangely enough, there is less snowfall in winter in this Arctic habitat than on the streets of Toronto or Chicago. It's the cold and the wind and the sparse vegetation that make it such a harsh environment. The muskox must dig craters in the shallow snow to reach the winter forage. First, they locate the plants by smell, then paw the snow away. Or, if there is a thick crust, pound through it with their chins to expose the sedges, grasses, and arctic willows that make up the bulk of their winter diet. Muskox calves are born around the 1st of May, a single calf for each mother. Within minutes of its birth, it is able to stand. Soon after, it begins exploring, usually following mother, sometimes on its own. Sight and scent bonds between mother and calf are not yet fully developed. So things can get a little confusing for a young muskox. But it soon finds its way back to mother and begins to nurse rather vigorously. and mother will stay together for about a year, sometimes longer. Soon the calf will begin to nibble on the tundra vegetation, but for several weeks, mother's milk, when available, will be the main food source. While the adults are busy feeding or ruminating, young calves play and discover their world. Mother is seldom far away and keeps her calf by her side, watching the crafty fox as it circles the herd.
these Arctic foxes have found a prize feed, the carcass of an old or weakened musk ox. Other members of the musk ox herd have survived the long, hard winter. Unfamiliar sound, an unfamiliar sight, and the musk ox react. A noisy raven, a stranger to these islands in the high Arctic, flies overhead. The raven is no threat, but the herd instinctively forms a defense circle, lining up side by side, facing the attacker. Rumps pressed tightly together, with yearlings and calves wedged safely between the adults. When pursued by humans or wolves, the musk ox find nowhere to hide on the treeless tundra. They shift around, snorting loudly, looking a little disorganized at times, but nonetheless mounting an impressive display. Suddenly, they may abandon their defense formation and stampede, making for higher ground. The ancient, hairy survivor of the Arctic wilderness, the magnificent musk ox. America Coast to Coast visits the Great Northwest, Thursday at 10. This portion of Discovery is sponsored in part by Honda, the maker of fine quality automobiles. I'm Tom Walker for Discovery Now. Some Washington, D.C. schools have found an interesting way for kids to teach teachers to conserve energy. The Energy Patrol at Parkview Elementary walks the same beat every day, making sure the school is saving energy. All Energy offenders get a written warning and a little embarrassed. I had been given a ticket because <laughs> I had not turned my lights off. These kids are serious, and it shows. Last year, they saved the school almost $1,400 in energy costs. But most kids are not in it for the money. I get paid for just doing my job. I love it. You get paid for it for saving the energy. Energy Patrol students don't stop saving energy when they go home. They feel what they do can and does make a difference. I'm Tom Walker for Discovery Now. Presenting the Accord EX from Honda. With a new, more powerful engine. Travel a world away to Alaska. Discover the meaning of big with 30,000 miles of coastline, mountains, glaciers, rivers, and wildlife. It's earned a reputation as America's last great wilderness. It's also a land of romantic Russian churches and European villages, modern skyscrapers, ancient cultures, and a people with hearts as big as the landscape. Let the Discovery Channel take you a world away to Alaska. Now, for the
for the Discovery Channel, Nancy Glass. Welcome to A World Away. Tonight, we're headed for a land of romance and adventure in the state that calls itself the last frontier. Alaska got a lot of attention in 1989 when the Exxon Valdez ran aground in Prince William Sound and spilled 13 million gallons of crude oil. What was once considered a pristine wilderness was changed forever. Today, the Alaska Tourist Board reports that the most popular tourist attractions were unaffected, and despite the catastrophic effects...